Bitch, I'm that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all, what's going on? Mm mm, uh, do you love me? Uh, are you fighting? Are you ever, ever, ever under the <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, girl. I'm tickle pink right this part, girl. <laughs> Do you love me? Are you right? <laughs> All right. Oh, girl, hold on. Hold on, I gotta pull over because I gotta get this right. This is this, this, this very important business that we're taking care of. Give me one moment, y'all. We'll get into it in two seconds. Hi, y'all. Zoe, come on in. Come on in for the sun go out, girl. I'm yours with most MC Shake, MC Shake Live. You can catch me at MC Shake Live on all, all platforms. You heard me. We're going to get into it. There's no request right now. We can't go live. But uh, we're going to be talking about Miss One. Kiki, uh, do you love me? Uh, Miss Katara, Sharon, Wyatt. Uh, Kiki, uh, do you love me? Uh, okay. So let me just, okay, while I'm doing this, let me go ahead. Um, this live and all today's tea is sponsored by our friends over at Luxury Credit. Don't let your credit be on Kiki. Make sure you get it straight. Now, so, um, we're going to go ahead and pin that right quick. Um, let's get into it. Let me, let me just go ahead and pin her because it's, uh, underscore luxury, underscore, underscore luxury, underscore credit. That's what it is. At underscore luxury. Uh, luxury at underscore credit. Okay, let's get that in the queue. All right, so this is this is this live is this live is sponsored by friends over at Luxury Credit. Don't let your credit get on that Kiki Wire, girl. Don't let it get that far, girl. Go ahead and talk to our friends at Luxury Credit. I talked to the owner, um, and she's gonna give y'all for the entire weekend, um, fifty percent off of the. Roman fee as well as the free consultation you heard me uh i talked to her and i trust her and i know her and uh, she's a sipper and so that's what it is okay so let me just give y'all a brief re quick recap for the ones that don't know what's going on because y'all may have seen it on uh some of these various uncouth blogs like the neighborhood talk and whatnot that are bringing up what she's what she did like she ate or something but i'm gonna give you a brief recap of what went on um last night i was scrolling on the uh, beagle live app just scrolling you know doing my little drug deals passing through and i passed through uh the real super bit i passed through his panel um and i stopped at the panel because he had a um a, 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 a all-star cast of that include himself kiki wyatt um Alain christopher and a couple of other people um the panel was discussing um music something that i'm very uh passionate about i love music um and at first he was like shake you want to come on up and i was like no nah, i'm just thinking mean, because it's a good conversation that we're having in regards to the roots of music and and what what that came from um then they mentioned something about uh chicken but they also what i really wanted to come up there and talk about was uh the roots because pop music also started from us as black people as well um and i'm listening to miss wyatt talk about oh we got to talk about the white music too white music too and we got to talk about the white music and we got to do this about the white people and white music matters and all kind of stuff like that i'm half white sugar and all this other stuff like that sounded like blanche never wrote the golden girls or something girl not blanche never wrote the golden girls uh <laughs> julia sugar baker off of my um you tell me what them so was designing women damn don't blame me about all she needed is a piece of weed or something in her mouth and she would have just given me every piece of country bumpkin there was nonetheless she was talking about how white music matters and some crazy foolishness like that which is not even nothing it was just a little whatever so i joined the panel to put my input in on the music however the chicken was something that was actually different from that um so um to so okay i don't know kiki Wyatt at all uh i know she had that one song or <laughs> that one song and what 20 years ago or something that was about it nobody like after that it was that girl <laughs> who, who <laughs> and it was like i don't know or care or whatever whatever um but i do know the song more than i know the person that made the song or care about the song more that uh whatever whatever so um no, she's not letting me drag Kiki like that. She actually offered to even pay me not to drag this girl. So at the end of the day, so we don't talk about her on this panel. Go get you something to do. Bop. 
so the, the only thing I do know about Shekinah is that she about Shekinah Kiki is that Kiki brought Shekinah brought Kiki to Beagle as well as brought me to Beagle no shame and other than that somebody can't let me do anything that I don't want to do I'm grown at the end of the day Shekinah's my sister not my mama so at the end of the day she has asked me to, to and she has done or she has on behalf of Kiki tried to intercede but there's no intercession here because at the end of the day I feel disrespected and I, the reason why I feel disrespected because I didn't disrespect this man I mean this woman God, can't say she's not a woman. She got forty children, um, forty children and four on a week, girl. Girl, they said she spit. But anyway, that's a whole other thing for another day. Um, so with 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 that being said, um, I did not once at no time. And you talk about what what this person let me do. We're not even getting to. It. Let me turn the comments off. Actually, I'm gonna turn off the comments. Let's do that. Oh no, I can't turn off the comments because these people paid for this spot. No shade. <laughs> Comments got to be on because y'all gonna have to see that we're talking about <laughs> at luxury at underscore luxury underscore credit. Our friends over there to get your credit report right, 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 right. But I can't turn them. I didn't turn them off. Okay, so at the end of the day, I went on the panel and I made a light key about chicken. That Popeyes was the original chicken that this happened to. That the black woman was making the chicken and the people stole it. She claims it was KFC. She says she's from Kentucky. Uh, whatever, whatever. There was no shade, no tea. It was a cackle. It was a key about chicken. She had been being read on the panel and the entire day. So I guess she was already in her feelings. As well as she looked to be damn near prissy drunk. Now this is a scary because this woman is confirmed and definitely pregnant. Um, she hasn't released a statement yet that she's got pregnant, but she's gonna release it in a few short, uh, within a few weeks probably. But she's for certain pregnant. Um, but apparently getting drunk and pregnant is something they do in Kentucky or wherever the hell is she at from whatever the case may be. Now I got a phone number and the address and stuff and I'm probably gonna post that later because I feel like, I just feel like I'm gonna do it. Like I'm gonna drag her through the mud because I'm and that's what I do But anyway So it's going to be dragging through the water It's going to get progressively worse Progressively worse Every second of the day Every day So the more I dig The more I'm going to put out It's not even a question going to be a question She's going to rule the day Because I never disrespect this woman I didn't tell her anything And anybody tells you anything different Is incorrect So when she actually Me responded to her And said Sister you got to be drunk or something Actually comes from her Starting with me first Her starting with me She started with me and I'm finishing it. So new, you or nobody else can choose how I choose to respond. So when I'm start with me, okay? Let's get that straight. So let's start airing her, her business. So the first thing I posted this morning, today, let's let's. The, so the first thing I posted today was the fact of was. Let me see how do I put it up. Was this? I posted this, and let's talk about it. Whew, let's talk about it. Let's talk, talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. We talked about this. So, okay, I was just start doing stuff. I start looking at court cases. I start looking at uh, businesses that she's on. I start looking at credit reports. Um, I got the bank statement, girl. We see y'all see what's in her bank account. I'm gonna do that later on. That's coming today too. I got her bank account too, girl. Uh, well, I, she may have multiple accounts from what I'm looking at, but I saw one, and y'all be like, girl, what? You're, I know this ain't the same Kiki Wild that be they sing that one song. Y'all, I'm gonna be like, I'll be like, yeah. So yeah, I got her bank statement, girl. It's uh, <laughs> horrendous girl it's like girl but anyway so let's go into it so um okay and okay also shout out to our friends at underscore luxury underscore credit make sure you have y'all follow them for me y'all please they're the sponsors of their live and making sure i was able to do this over here instead of doing it on the other app where i get paid they made sure they say we didn't want it on the ig so they made it for y'all to get this on ig y'all no shade so y'all make sure you at least follow them and if y'all do have credit issues i do trust them i've talked to them they're honorable people um so listen so this is the first thing. So this company is called Heritage Finance Corporation. It's a Kentucky corporation, and what they do is they res they give you personal loans, like title loans and all this other foolishness that you get uh, for personal loans and personal reasons. Okay. And so what she did is she took out a loan again, uh, with these people against a vehicle uh, that I'm that I'm being told was dr is being used by her teenage son. So, uh, or teenage son, or a teenage child. I don't know if it's teenage son or daughter. I'm going to say that. Um, I, I think I was told the son, it might have been daughter, one of the right person, whatever the case may be. That's not the part. But the part is that Heritage Finance, so this is an actual court case that she was actually being sued now because they're looking for her and they're looking for this. They're looking for their money and they're looking for this vehicle. They want to get either or. So at the end of said day, she, yes, 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 yes. This is the actual court case. Uh, it was uh, it's a court case from Heritage Finance Corporation. Took a personal loan out. Uh, one of the things that's up for collateral is the title to the car, a, a vehicle that I'm being told that her child drives. And um, 
this is what it is. Now, these people are looking for their money, Kiki. You're up here talking about how big or talking about beans and stuff. These people don't want no beans, so they don't want the cash. These people want their money. So while you sitting here talking about somebody and my nails and, and my body, sister, you have bigger problems. These people, you took this person loan out on these people and they want their coin dollars back, mom. They want the kiki, sister, kiki, so you love me, so anyway, first of all, this is just saying, that's number one. Number two, number two about this girl, you have no room to talk about nobody in life when I can find this on you. <laughs> So um, these people are looking for their car or their money. I hope you don't take the car away from the baby and go ahead and give these people their money. I hope that you take your beagle check, whatever the hell you get from the beans, and you go ahead and give these people their money. <laughs> do you love me? All right, so that's the first thing we talk about. So this Heritage Finance Corporation, if any of y'all do see Kiki Wyatt or y'all see her, um, could y'all call them because they're looking for them, for her? Because apparently, allegedly, she had the, the address they had on file said, what I did, I'm going to even lies to y'all. I called her and I told him, I said, I'm a husband. Could I get some information on how much she owes for this? But they wanted her information. So look, I called back and I gave the best fish voice I could. And I, said, I was like, oh, yes, I'm Kiki. I'm Kiki Wyatt Morin, Morin Martin. Could I get some of that little code right now? Because you know, I had a credit report, so I had all that information, girl. And so um, they was like, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to have to transfer. Like, they didn't want to give me no information, girl. Them girls. But anyway, so I want to find out how much it is, how much she owe, how much she was back. I was trying to get all that, girl. You know me, I do all kind of, you know me, girl, I do, y'all know me, I do my door deals and I do my dirt, girl. I do it. This is what I do. It is what it is. Y'all know what I do. So if you don't know what I do, oh well. If you don't like what I do, y'all can press the X button. It's the top right corner. But whatever you do, whatever you do, you heard me. Go ahead and holler at my people at Luxury Credit, underscore Luxury, underscore Credit. So listen, check this out. <laughs> So I call her try to get the information, girl, and then post him or give it to me, girl. But apparently, um, that she's being sued, and it's an active case in Kentucky. But this was the thing. I, so, you know, she had to go to Atlanta for some stuff. So it's like they can't really, they're having trouble pimpering her. But I was like, maybe I can help y'all out with that on some stuff. Because so, I do got an address. But I was thinking about it. But I don't want the baby to lose the car. I just want her to pay them people their money. So if y'all see her, so if y'all see her, if y'all see her, Y'all tap her on the shoulder and say, baby, Heritage Finance Corporation is ready. You hear me? Yes, this is a good New Orleans read shakedown. So, so this is what you're going to get, girl. I don't know why people play with me either, girl. But they're just going to learn. I'm going to just keep doing it until they learn. Okay, so the next part we're going to talk about, the next thing I posted, which was uh, part two of the Kiki Do You Love Me saga, was this one here. So Kiki, okay, that's it. It's supposed to be 11th, okay? I don't, I, I lost count, girl. I just lost count. When I lose, when I, listen, I'm a mathematician, baby. And when I lose count, girl, that's just saying something, girl. So listen. <laughs> so she has literally 11 kids. You can have a whole football team by yourself. You got enough for the offensive line. The D, you have enough for the offensive line. You have enough for the wide receivers, the tight end, the halfback, the quarterback, and the fullback, baby. You you really <laughs> you really got some stuff going on here, sister. Now listen, far be it for me to tell you what to do with your tutor care, but at the same time, girl, enough is enough. Like what is you like look, when do you say, listen, <laughs> let me just go ahead and take a birth control or something, girl. When do you say that? And obviously, according to what you have before. You, you, the one card that you got for your baby, you done put that up for a title and only get a personal loan, sister. So at the end of the day, <laughs> girl, you might not, are you sure you're able to financially take care of all these children that you're creating? I don't know, girl, but it's getting scary at this point, girl. Like, what? Every time you get, it's like every time a nigga look at you, you get, you, you get pregnant and another one finna pop out. I'm getting scared. This, I, I just, this point, sister, <laughs> I'm not talking about kids, I'm talking about her. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm talking about her. I'm talking about her. Bye bye. But at the end of the day, she asked me. She asked me to. She asked me to commit suicide. So all bets are off. She told me to go ahead and kill myself. So she asked me to commit suicide. All bets are off. So I don't even care. It is what it is. So she. So this is not me talking about kids. This is me talking about her having kids. That's the difference. Did I say anything negative about her kids? No, I didn't. I said something about her having kids, which is which. Obviously, she's a professional and expert at. No shade. <laughs> like, like she's really got, like, she has a PhD in childbirth, bitch. I, she should just go ahead. And, she should stop singing, girl, and go be a midwife somewhere, bitch. That's what the fuck she needs to do. No shade. I'm just being real, girl. This is just at this part. At this part. At this part, it's just getting. At this part, it's just getting scary, girl. 
like a uh, dude should just like you don't I, like do you even need nut anymore do you even need the the do you even need his sperm anymore like oh did you do this by yourself is it like a gremlin girl like you just put a little water on you and babies pop out is that what happening girl i'm i'm just i'm really asking because i'm really serious girl so listen, I'm gonna tell you how I got. Let me tell you how we come across this. So, um, there were a couple of Beagle videos where she hinted at morning sickness and she hinted at taking a vacation. Now, I can confirm that last night I've heard out of her own voice and her own mouth that she said she's about to take a nine month vacation. Now, a nine month vacation from like shows and and probably social media and all kind of stuff. She wants to take a nine month vacation. Now, the only thing that I know that requires a nine month vacation is childbirth. And we understand, we know one thing if we don't know nothing else. Kiki Y, I know, I know her vote, I know her brain might not work too good, but them, um, them ovaries, they work a hundred, girl. They're on hundreds. So as they, they, they all go, 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 baby. Like she really had like literally no shade, Kiki Wise sister. It's like go go gadget over it's for you, sister. No shade. But um <laughs> yeah, shade, whatever. Like yo like you really giving us <laughs> like you really giving us sister, you giving us girl, you you giving us pop about tea, baby. It's gonna come out, it's just gonna come out, you can't do nothing to stop it. It's just like, oh girl, another one. Girl, <laughs> And I'm scared for you, sister. I'm just really scared for you, girl. Because at this point, it's really just like, wow. When does it end, girl? When do you say, you know what? <laughs> Could you tell... When, when do you say to the doctor, since you, why are you down there? Can you just tie the motherfuckers up? Can you just, just stop this from happening every two every two months? Like, literally, <laughs> you got your own section in, in, in the OBGYN. You got your own parking spot, girl. The, your, the maternity ward have a whole wing dedicated to you. This is like your wing. Oh, girl, this is the Kiki Wyatt wing right here. This for her. This, this, she, and, and girl, when all, when all the OBGYN nurses looking at you like, girl, we see, girl, where you been at? Girl, like, you know, like, we know you, like, we knew you was due to pop up, girl. Like, like, when you see, when you see, when you see the, um, the, the when you see your maternity people, like, you see your hairdresser, girl, uh, it's just too much, girl. It's just too much. Okay, so she's coming with eleven child. She probably gonna make the announcement in a week or two, a couple weeks or whatever, whatever. Y'all be waiting, but remember that when you heard it first. Okay, next thing we're gonna talk about is this girl credit report, her Equifax report. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. So listen, sister. Yeah, it's gonna get worse than that, Kiki. No shade. Yeah, he put. She I, look. So look. <laughs> so this is what I get. I, I can't tell y'all who, but a, a certain somebody told me she over there. How did he get my credit report? <laughs> girl, listen, girl, you better listen. All I can tell you, girl, do your homework sometimes. You do listen. If you stay ready, you won't have to get ready, mo. Um, no shade. So listen, cause now, nah, so this is what I have. My problem with her is this: she, she's she's always taking up. Oh, I'm white and I'm half white, but I can say nigger because I'm half black and I got a piece of black in me, so I can say nigger. It's like you want to be black when it's okay for you. But when when it's when it's advantageous to what you talk about, but whenever you not it's not advantageous to what you talk about, you want to be a white girl. No, sis, it's not going. It's not like that. It won't be like that. Let me tell you something. The reason we know you black now is because we looked at your Equifax report. You got the Equifax of a black girl, sister. No shade, no tea, girl. I'm talking about girl. They, if them if they look at your stuff, they be like, oh no, you get your nigga ass on. You're not gonna get approved for this. You're tripping, girl. Stop, stop the madness, girl. Okay. Yeah, she yes, yeah, she's black. Oh, when she needs to when she wants to say nigga or call somebody a monkey, a black man a monkey, disrespectfully as a black woman call disrespectfully as a woman calling a man a monkey for no particular reason. When it's oh I'm black now, so I can say nigga and call him a monkey. But the second that she needs to be a white girl, uh, uh, I'm a white girl. But listen, sister, let me show you something, girl. Equifax tearing you up. Equifax playing you like a black girl. Equifax playing you like that good old black girl. Equifax got you in the, got you in the bureau like us, girl. <laughs> girl, Equifax ain't playing no games with you, girl. They got you in the bureau like us. You got everything on your credit report for portfolio, bitch. This the hoes that fuck with us all day every day. Calling our phone all hours of the night. Talk about could you pay this bill. Bitch, they fucking with you like they fuck with us. So at the end of the day, Mo, you is one of us, girl. We we don't like it. You can talk like this all you want. You can go ahead and wear that pale, ugly fuck. You got to be using crayon case makeup. No shade because your face, I don't know who be doing it, girl, but you stay casket ready, girl. You be, and, uh, and that's not your shade. That white, ugly shade, girl, that's not you. You got to do like a, that, I mean, that pale, pale shade, girl, that's not you. Stop doing that. Ooh, look yourself, girl. 
I swear to God, I know this girl had got to have Down syndrome or something, girl. At the end of said day, <laughs> girl, she got to be you in that crayon case, girl. They must have sent you a panic, girl. <laughs> they must have the stupid they had to send your ugly ass to panic, girl. Because at the end of the day, girl, that's just not. You look like, girl, you, see, I already told y'all huh, that Super Saiyan looked like the clown that got out of the clown car. And that was the last one. Whereas Kiki Wild, you was the second to last clown to get out the motherfucking car. You know the clowns that be in the little car, girl? They be in that little car? Well, she was the second to last one to get out the car, girl. No shade. But at the end of the day, let's talk about your credit again. Okay, so this is the summary of our credit report. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Cause you know I don't play no fucking games. Okay, so she has, she is in a lot of debt. That's the thing. And all her credit cards are very much near maxed out. She is literally working with, with a lot of debt. Okay, let's talk about that. Her debt to income ratio is crazy. Now listen, if y'all need to understand debt to income ratio and how that affects your credit, and you need to understand about how negative items affect your credit, and you don't want to be caught slipping and in these people's streets and shake and pull up your report and you and you get made to listen. Holla at my people and luxury credit underscore luxury underscore credit. They're the sponsor of this show. See, I was gonna do this on Bigo. I was gonna do this on Bigo, but they the ones told me to bring it to Instagram and they'll pay for it. So they they, they damn near paid for this for y'all to see this live like I'm doing it right here on. Okay, so she literally has ten accounts in the negative. You hear me? Ten accounts with negative information. She has at least one judgment against her. What a judgment means is that somebody went to court. And got a judgment against her, a lien. So even if she gets like a lump sum of money, they're gonna she pay, she really working to pay off her this person debt. So let's say y'all book her for a show tomorrow. That don't even go. That don't even go to her. She don't get that money. That goes to that goes to the people she owe. So at the end of the day, it's like she really working for somebody else's money. She could, that's why she take any and every show. She <laughs> she. Was, she how she gonna feel like this? I don't know. I don't know. You have to ask her. I have no clue. But she needs to go ahead and holler at my people and luxury credit. Underscore luxury underscore credit. Go holler at them. She needs to holler at them to get this stuff off of her credit so that at least she can see the light of day again. Girl. So, okay. So listen. I argue with people. I fuss with people. Y'all know me. I'm just that girl. I do all that stuff. That's what I do. Yada, 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 yada. But I refuse to argue with somebody who is damn near 40 with a 591 credit score. At some point in your life, you got to wake up and say, look, 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 look. Let me get it together. I know people, we go through some problems, we have bad credit, but at one point, you got to wake up and call luxury credit. Underscore luxury, underscore credit. They don't want to pay for this live to be over here today. No shade. So at what point do you say, when you get tired of them collection calls, you almost 40, you got 11, you got 10 kids and 10 on the way. You got, you got 10 kids living and another six, seven on the way. <laughs> you, <laughs> you a gremlin, mo. They throw the water on you, and the babies just pop out. <laughs> You'll always be my first love. She got that one song. <laughs> Girl, after that, it was just flop, 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 flop. So anyway, so let's talk about this. Girl, get your credit together. That's what you do. That's what you do. That's what you do. You don't don't worry about what they talk about on Bigo. You got to get your life right, girl. Because I I I, I just I have a hard time arguing with a girl that's almost forty and know the, and know this that and the other about the world and been here and been there and sing one song <laughs> and sing that one song and sing that one song. I mean, I, the only credit I can give her is a pussy got to be good because at the end of the day, it, uh, well, maybe not because I really believe this is a gremlin. Uh, you, you drop a little water on her, she get pregnant. <laughs> no shade. That's scary. Okay, so look. This is what I'm saying, sister. Look, check this out. Kiki Wire, girl. I don't know what they told you or what they should have told you or what they could have told you. But, you know, you got to sometimes, you got to just wake up and bite the bullet and say, God dang, what, what, was, I, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? So, <laughs> who is shaking again now? Why did y'all tell me? Why didn't anybody warn me what was about to... Because then I'm not finished. Then I'm not finished. I'm I'm working on... I wish it was on a Friday because I think I'm I'm trying to get that sealed indictment from when she stabbed my first husband. But what I was able to find out is the next thing I'm going to talk about. Y'all make sure y'all holler my people at Luxury Credit was this. This is an actual... This is the actual... Now, this is an actual signature. And she signed 
for an investment company. Like, watch this. She, for her ex husband. Now, while I'm looking up for the seal of the night, nightmare, I happen to stumble across this. Kiki Y signed. This is with real talk. Now, this is an exclusive tea that nobody, you know, we know about her ex husband. She stabbed him, alleging, talk about she was trying to get out of a violent relationship. He was basically acting like, and she was basically trying to be Tina. Um, no shade. That's what was happening. Okay. Now I'm not. Now people saying don't talk about domestic abuse and yada 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 and all this other stuff like that. But at the end of the day, this girl wished that I died. So at the oh she invited me to commit suicide. My bad. She invited me to commit suicide. She called she, this white girl, this white Karen, the Karen part of her, actually told me to kill myself. The Karen part of her. Listen to what I'm telling you. The Karen part of her. Listen to what I'm telling you. The Karen part of her told me as a black man called me a monkey, which is basically in the Karen part of her and the audacity to say nigga right after that so at the end of the day don't tell me don't talk about domestic violence because guess what if karen call you a nigga if karen call you a monkey and if karen tell you to kill herself you're gonna domestically abuse karen yourself so don't tell me don't talk about what uh, don't talk about this dude punching on her and 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 and, uh, and and hitting her like an everlast bang don't tell me not to talk about it this is karen we talk about the karen of her called me this here and so i'm talking to the karen of her so that's why i'm a hat <laughs> so let's talk about it Let's don't tell me you don't talk about don't tell me nothing about no domestic abuse and all that now. Karen just told me a black man. Uh, I'm a thousand percent black. I'm not a hundred. I'm a thousand. I got so much black in me that my middle name is black. It's really shaking black. <laughs> That's my new name. Just call me that. I'm real black. I'm black and black as they come. So the Karen part of this, the Karen part of this, the the the, the Karen part of this, this. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants face. So the Karen part of me, the Karen part of her, told her to call me a nigga and a monkey, and a, and, and, and 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 wish and, and invite me to commit suicide. So at the end of the day, if Karen do that to you, you're gonna bop the Myra coins out of Karen. So here the Myra coins is bopped out of this motherfucking uh, this motherfucking goomba bitch. So look, so listen, Karen, her husband. Wanted to start an investment company to try. This is what I'm telling y'all. Hear, hear me out. Her husband. Now this happened from years ago. Her husband wants to start an investment company company to put some of her money. This might and this might be what messed up her credit because a lot some of the stuff on her credit is from 14 years ago. It's still on her credit. Bankruptcy and all stuff. She's just getting out of judgments and all kind of stuff because you know they last a long time. It's for time. It's some time. So look, check this out. Her husband. May her start uh, may her sign for him for an investment company so that she could get certain money that they could move money. Now listen, check this out. Now right around the time, right around the time of the look at the dates. I'm gonna show you another piece of documentation. Look at the dates. That's her name right there. Katera Wyatt Morton. Right around the time, okay, 2001. Right around this time is when all that stuff happened with the alleged stabbing and all that stuff like that. I'm still waiting on the sealed indictment for that. But check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, she been married three times, girl. And this last dude here, he needs to learn how to pull out. She ain't showed you how further she was yet. So listen, this company became inactive. You know why? They were under investigation for money laundering and fraud. However, after all that happened, it was no, they just said, okay, we ain't, whatever. There's no probable cause here. We just gonna let it go. Because they was like, they got better stuff to worry about. So she ducked the indictment, but she was definitely, and so they tried to hide it. She don't want y'all to know this, but they definitely tried to hide it, but she's a definite signer on the Ramut Investments LLC. This is after they set up, separated. So they was doing some type of and they was doing some type of money laundering, hiding money, and all kind of stuff like that. And she's a signer on that. So which some people believe that she concocted the whole stabbing thing has something to do with this. Okay, you hear me? You hear me? You hear me? No, she's not the scammer. Her husband is a scammer. But she signed off on it for him. He couldn't get the investment company unless she signed off on it. You hear me? She's not the scammer. He is, according to the documentation.
That's the T. That's the T. So all this could have really happened because of this here. You hear me? Oh, girl, we're not finished with you, little Kimiskiki, girl. This is just the beginning. Girl, this is just the beginning. We just getting started. Oh, girl, we're going to have fun with you. Girl, you all weekend, all week. They must have not told you, girl. I get obsessive, girl. I start looking up stuff. I'm going to be calling on your people. Girl, I'm going to be calling people that knew you in high school. Why she didn't? Why y'all didn't tell her this? My question is this. Why y'all didn't tell her that Shake about to find... Bitch, Shake is going to find out what you ate for dinner. Uh, Shake is going to find out. You're going to get your report call from third grade. Why y'all didn't tell her that? Why y'all didn't tell her that? that especially you, a, you have Karen, girl. You have Karen, so I don't feel no empathy for you. I'm going to talk about you. I'm going to talk about... Once I get that indictment that you was indicted for stabbing him, I'm going to read all that paperwork about how you talk about he was punching on you and stuff, and we're going to read it all. You're going to have to go through that again. Why y'all didn't tell that girl? Why y'all didn't tell that girl that her whole life about to be on these people's internet? Not just that little one piece that she saw last night when she thought she was eating it up. Girl, why she didn't tell y'all? Why y'all didn't tell her that her second grade teacher gonna be on, your, on live next week talking about what, how she was a sure. Why y'all didn't tell her that? I blame y'all. Y'all should have told her, girl. Girl, it's going to pull up your whole life. Anything that you didn't want the girls to know, like you signing for fraudulent investment companies for your ex-husband, like stuff like this, he was going to find that and air that out. The stuff that you didn't want the girls to know, that you have a 591 credit score sitting up here talking about a bitch. The stuff you didn't want the girls to know, that was, he was going to, y'all didn't tell I was going to find that. Y'all didn't tell I was going to look at her court documents and see how she in court back and forth because she don't, because she don't put a title on, on her child call. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't, y'all didn't, y'all didn't, why y'all didn't tell her that I was going to do that? Why y'all didn't tell I was going to do that? Why y'all didn't tell her this only the beginning, girl? Why y'all didn't tell us? Why y'all didn't tell SpongeBob that this was just the beginning? Why y'all didn't tell her that? Why y'all said I'm just getting started? Why? Why y'all don't tell her that? Why y'all tell her it's not over? Why y'all don't tell her that soon it's gonna be situations where her address gonna be out there, her phone number gonna be out there, her credit, her bank statement gonna be out there? Why y'all didn't tell her that? Why y'all didn't tell this woman that? Huh? They didn't tell her after uh, after I have finished and out her whole life, I'm a reader for filth and make everybody laugh at her. Huh? Why y'all didn't tell her that? Y'all got to go tell Karen. Kiki, don't y'all love me? Y'all better go tell her. Somebody about to go tell her that it's about to even get worse than this. This is only the tip of the iceberg. You think I, you think Equifax got you in the credit bureau, bitch? Shake about to put you in the bureau bureau, bitch. What you talking about? Why y'all didn't tell her that? Oh, girl, she don't know nothing, girl. She better, I, if I, Kiki, Kiki, do you love me? Do me a favor. Stupid scent don't utter my name, and she know better. Judy played with me one time, posted something, and she never did it again. That ain't her address. I got a new address. I got the, another address. She played me one time and uh, it posted something about me. Never did it again. What you did, Mo, is unforgivable. Oh, she, I don't give a fuck if she played victim. Yeah, she the victim. I'm going to make her one today. She's going to be one today. <laughs> She's going to be one today. Period. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all, make sure y'all follow my people at underscore luxury, underscore credit. They're the ones that brought you this live because I was going to go do this on Beagle. You about to get shook down, Karen. You better start singing another song. You better make your new song, sister. You going to need it, girl, after this one. No shade. No shade. No shade. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm going to either be your best friend or your worst enemy. And there's nothing in between. I am a Sagittarius with Scorpio trick with Scorpio. I was born on a, I'm a Sagittarius born on the Scorpio moon. So I do got some Scorpio traits, but I'm a Sagittarius. It's gonna be like you gonna either it's gonna be real great for you or it's gonna be real fucked up. She chose it to be motherfucking fucked up, and that's what the hell she gonna get. I'm going to deliver. I ain't a prostitute kicking, but I'm gonna give you what you're looking for, sir. I'm gonna give you what you're looking for. You better start singing a song. You thought Monica got you. You thought Beyonce told you into another frame and killed your career, girl. You ain't look <laughs> girl. This about to be the beehive. I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna sting you like the beehive and stomp you like in like like Monica shoes.
the shoes for <laughs> you know who the white ones. Wonder why you only have a half a hit. You're a half a hit wonder. You ain't a whole hit wonder. You're not even a one hit wonder. You're a per five hit wonder. Girl. Nah. 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 Let's go. Miss 591 for Crystal. Check this out. This video go go on YouTube as well as all videos I do. But y'all stay tuned. I'm about to post the most stuff today. I got some more stuff brewing. I want to get that. I'm trying to get I'm trying at this point. I gotta go handle a little business, but I'm trying to get this gad day going. Um seal document as well as we go play. We go she might want to tell her she might want to start changing the number. Cause I got that too. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later.